We found a witch. May we burn her? Sunstrike. All right, so welcome. And welcome to the second video of this week and the second video in the Dota history section. And this one is going to be with the old invoker. And old invoker meaning the invoker with insane amount of spells. And the insane amount of spells is actually 27 spells, I think. So it's not like I remember all of them. I got actually a notebook here with all the combinations, uh, starting with the QQQ, of course, and ending with the EEE. So it's the same premise, okay? You have three orbs, Quas, Wax, and Exord. They were a little bit different because as you can see from, uh, I have right now Quas and I have damage. The Wax possibly stayed same with the movement speed as you can see. And Exord, can't really tell you what the Exord does. Hit points, it seems. Yep, hit points of this. Uh, so Exord was basically Quas and Quas was Exord, okay? Because Quas is giving you actually the damage. But, this is the premise the same. Three orbs, you are switching them. And interestingly enough, okay, you couldn't just switch them, okay? So let's say there's a combination of QQW. Okay, so QQW. This is a combination, let's say, for the something called portal, whatever this means. Um, what this actually does, what you have to do, okay, what you have to do is you need to have it QQW. You can have. W, Q, Q. See, it does completely different spell. So that was the thing with 27 spells. The combination needs to start with the... It basically needs to Q after each other, so... Yeah, it was very hard to actually think of any combinations. And it was basically unplayable. Because you, you can't go, you know, however you want. You need to go in that certain... Uh, quas, Quas, Wax. It can be Wax, Quas, Quas. So, because that's another spell. So that is it. Um, unfortunately, there is a 888, eight, eight, meaning you have only one level left for the invoke. So there are no, uh, so there's a only one level of invoke, one level basically of the ulti with a cooldown 12 seconds, which is a lot. Okay, with 27 spells having invoke cooldown 12 seconds, you are basically gonna cast like two spells in a fight. <laughs> okay, because you know you can actually uh, get the next one, but fight is in 10 seconds, so this was kind of a useless. Um, Absolutely useless, and you have only available one spell. So let's start. I'm gonna show you these spells, what they do. By the way, I already tried this, um, but it wasn't. I tried this actually against some enemy, like showing the spells against him, but it wasn't good because she it was adding, but and she normally started to push my base. I didn't have any items. I had level, but she was getting levels, and she, then she pushed my base. I was like, what? The, what is going on? I had to defend my base, not really showing the spells. So let's start with the spells. We'll be starting with the QQQ, which is Ice Path. And it's absolutely same Ice Path as it is in Dota 1, but what you can actually do here is target it, okay? So, uh, as you know, the Ice Path is basically where he's facing, it's gonna create the Ice Path. So, if I'm facing like here, it's gonna create Ice Path like this. The good thing about this is I can control where I'm facing with, with the target. So, it's always gonna create the Ice Path where I want it to be. That's that's the good thing. I can just target it, and it's gonna create the ice path in in the in the in the in that in that uh, in that area, as you can see. So that's definitely great. It's not just in front of you; it's actually targetable, and it's the same as you can see from from these neutrals. Uh, same thing that that it does in Dota and Dota 2. The next spell is gonna be Portal. So it's UQ and W. What this does is. Um, I actually know what it does. It pulls the enemy, okay, it does damage based on Vex, I think, and it pulls the enemy on range 700 to you. So if I do this, it's gonna damage him like a nuke, plus it's gonna pull him towards me. Or actually on my position. See, there's nuke, I pulled him, and that's it. That, 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 that is the portal spell. It works on the, of course, of course it works on the heroes, but also it works on these guys, so it's pretty decent. Again, a pull. You know, if you can catch somebody off guard in this situation, it's pretty, pretty useful, I guess. <laughs> like, you know, it's one click and you are pulling the guy plus damaging him. It's kind of insane. Alright. So, next thing is gonna be Frost Nova, which is kind of a... Uh, I don't know. Not really interesting spell, because what it does is... It does the same thing as a Lich Frost Nova, okay? It damages 
and around the area there's like a little slope plus the additional damage as you can see so and of course everything is based on the quas so fire spells are based on the exord and these like ice spells are based on the quas and the vex spells meaning like uh, some emp some mana burning spells are based on the vex so that state kind of the same just a second Rechoose? I don't want rechoose, just get me on neutrals, okay, that's a command. Good. So we'll be going with the next spell, as you can see, this is pretty simple. Slow for both guys, the main damage is on the guy that targeted, but there is additional damage to the, to the guy on the, you know, in that in the certain area. So next spell is gonna be Tornado Blast. It's Q, double, oh, no, actually not, it's not. Q, hold on. That's gonna be kind of a problem, because, you know, 27 spells, any combination mean, means something, so <laughs> it's kind of a problematic. So Q, there we go. No. <laughs> Q. Hold on, this should work, man. I know it did because I already did this video. There was just Enigma pushing too much. There we go. Tornado blast. It's the same effect, but it kind of feels kind of a slower. Just a second. Okay, it's for some reason it was put on slow. I'm sorry about that. Alright, for some reason it was put on slow. Okay, there we go. So what it does, it doesn't do the lift, it does just the damage. Basically travels 2000 range, I think. So very simple, without um, without the effect of, you know, lifting the enemy. Just the pure nuke and pure in that, in that range of the tornado, it does the damage. So that's a tornado blast. The next thing is levitation. And this one is kind of funny, so I'm gonna show you the one. <laughs> Okay, so you will be levitating into the air, let's say like a, from Tornado, or you Skeptor. Basically, yeah, this is basically you Skeptor. So, somebody's attacking me, and I go for my levitation. <laughs> so that's what he does. You can attack him, he's basically a Yule Skeptor effect, let's say. And that is it. It's kind of a weird, because, you know, uh, at least you Skeptor, you, you are kind of getting like, you know, into the Tornado, like you are... Let's say no, you are visible, but it kind of feels like you are kind of hidden there. But this one is just, you know, like, he's like dancing in the air almost. Like, yeah, I'm here, bitches. And I, in a five seconds, I'll, I'll fall. It's kind of a spell. Um, so that is it. Nothing else it does. Just levitation. They cannot attack you. You cannot do anything. You're basically just waiting to go down. But it can work nicely with a dagger, or it could in the future. <laughs> so next spell is a power word. And what it does, let's see. Applies a magic that weakens or strengthens a unit's resistance to physical attacks. Okay, so basically it boosts armor. 8 for you as a boost, so it's gonna give me 8 armor. I cannot target myself, but uh, you know, allied unit, allied hero, it would actually give uh, 8 armor. But for the enemy, it's gonna lower their armor by 8. So plus 3, now it's gonna be minus 5. So that is it, pretty simple spell. Mm, nothing really into it, you know, last 25 seconds, that's pretty decent, so you can recast it. No, you can't. I mean, I can with the cheats, but... Yeah, pretty decent. 8 armor, you know, it's based on quas, so you need max quas to actually get, get to that 8 armor minus, so it's really not that good spell, to be honest. Alright, next spell is uh, <laughs> Invisibility or Okay, I'm gonna show you that with the creeps. Um, so invisibility aura is Q E W, and it's a passive spell and 290 range, which which is uh, we can we can that's actually the range of this. So let me just grab it. Of the effect of the spell, like these uh, symbols, that's the effect of the spell. And yes, it's the global aura in this area. So right now, as you can see, the units are under invis. And the fade time is seems like zero. So, and I'm gonna show you like a funny thing. I'm gonna just go spawn off. So right now we are in this. We are we are launching at the enemy. Uh, it seems like I'm not in this. Just the guys around me. So that's kind of disadvantage. Look at how this guy is hitting. Okay, he hits. He goes in this. He hits. Goes in this. So there's a hit in this. Hit in this. So if you don't have fully attack speed like that fast. You will be, after each hit, invisible for some time, like, you know, the hero basically recovering from the hit, so... <laughs> that is the aura. Passive, doesn't cost anything, 
and kind of insane. The unfortunate thing is that, you know, everybody can see you as an invoker, so... Uh, this is kind of the idea of uh, Protoss unit in StarCraft 1. Uh, I don't know how it was called. I don't know. But it was, you know, there was like a flying unit that everything else was invisible in the huge area around it. And the flying unit was not invisible, so... Maybe they stole it from it, I'm not really sure. So next spell is Mana Burn. The classic Mana Burn that I don't want to really show you, but... Again. <laughs> I switched to something else. Tele Lightning, okay. Mana Burn. Thank you. So, Mana Burn, as you can see, burns 400 mana points of a target enemy unit's mana. The mana combusts, dealing d damage equal to the amount of mana burned. So this actually is a Nerubian Assassin. You know, we had Nerubian Assassin previously, so this is his spell. It does the same thing, so I'm not going to really even show you. I can actually, but... That's what it does, mana burn. The same damage is dealt as, as it is uh, mana burn, so that is it. EMP is the next spell. Um, kind of the same as it is in Dota 1 and 2, of course a recent one, but... There's a little difference about the EMP and it's not targetable, okay? It will release the EMP bolt in front of you, it will travel like 600-700 range, and then it's gonna explode. It's probably 600 range. And the effect is actually when it explodes. When it explodes right now, the effect. Okay, so it's like, like a. Like a we can actually count that. Let's see. Three seconds, like four seconds. So after like five seconds, it's gonna release the EMP ball, which is a lot. You know, it's, it's a lot of time to get away from this. Um, I like the targetable one. Uh, this is kind of like kind of awkward, you know, flying there. It just takes too much time for it to be released. So that is the old EMP. The next thing is Soul Blast. Okay, Soul Blast. Not really sure what it does. Deals 75 damage for each level of Exor to a target and immunity. Heals the Invoker. Okay, so it target, so it damages the guy. Actually, let's go for these guys. Let's take some damage first. 75. So I have eight levels. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of damage. Okay, let's, right now let's cast it. Yeah, it's gonna insanely... How much HP is 500? I'd say it's just like 700 damage or something like that, 600 damage. Not really sure about the reductions here in these versions, but... Yep. 40 seconds is a lot of cooldown, but, you know... That's okay, it's okay. It's gonna heal you for the same amount of... Uh, actually, not the same amount. Almost the same amount of... Uh, of... of... Uh, HPs. So, 62.5 for the each... Ex each quas, so that's pretty decent. You know, it's nothing crucial, but they are better spells. Trust me, they are better spells. Okay, right now the spell next one is a tele lightning, I think. Cast a powerful chain of energy that deals 560 damage. Kl travels with the, this energy, ending at location of the enemy. Huh. Let's try it. Ah. So we had the t with the portal that. Does the damage and then it's it pours the guy towards you or on you and this is the opposite. It deals the damage like lightning damage plus it actually ports you uh, on enemy. Yep, it's like a pull. It's like a clockwork pull, but with insane damage <laughs> and no stun. That's pretty decent ability, I have to say. You can portal one guy, you know, let, let your team kind of kill him, and then you can. Switch to this and just go into battle for somebody else. Interesting. So next spell is gonna be Shock. It's a free W's. And let's see. Ah. So what it does. In this area, as you can see, of the effect, which is... You could see it from like the net almost. It's like a net place. So in that area... Um, everything is gonna be debuffed. Every positive buff of enemy, which can be, you know, buff from a mech, um, can be, I don't know, right, you know, any buff, like a drum mech, uh, in the future, of course. Right now, those items, I don't, I don't think they are here anymore. Any, uh, not yet. They are actually. Yeah, whatever. So, these buffs, uh, are gonna be debuffed, like, disabled completely. Uh, plus, it's, of course, doing the, the area damage based on the, based on the Vex. Neutrals. 
It is pretty cool effect, I have to say. So the lighting is the damage. The net, like the lighting net, is I think the disable. So that is it. I'm gonna kill these guys so I can make actually new ones. So let me just do this. So next spell is going to be Arcane Axe. And Arcane Acts, so Vex Vex Exhort, yep. So Kael is superior in the arts of magic than his opponents. He is able to manipulate spells to reduce their damage by 80%. So you have kind of a, you know, reducing spell damage by 80%. I'm not really, <laughs> I'm not really sure if it's area effect. It doesn't seem so. Um, it doesn't say that's aura. It's not aura. It's probably passive ability of his, meaning the spells are reduced only if, if they are damaging him. So on, everything that goes on him is gonna be reduced, but whatever goes for allies is not. Because that'd be ridiculous. Like, like 80%... Like, let's... 2000 damage is 400 damage, okay? 1000 damage is 200 damage. So from like the huge spells like, let's say, Lina or Lion, they do nothing, okay? You can heal it with Tango, so that's how ridiculous 80% actually is. So that is it, just a simple passive. Um, not really sure how you can use this in a fight. Maybe if you go for like a tanky build, you can make the resistances with this and then be, you know, indestructible basically. So let's go with the next spell that, that will do actually something. Which will be... I kind of lost here. <laughs> We are right, right now in like 15, one of 15 spells, so Arcane Arts, there we go. So Scout is the next one, which is from a worker free multiplayer or even campaign. It was a unit of uh, Tyrande, the Priestess of the Moon, and it's indest indestructible, it's Owl, and you can scout the area. I have right now the, you know, the whole vision, but it gives you vision probably as a flying unit. So you can scout Roshan, nobody's gonna attack you because they can't, they cannot even click on you, so scout the towers, scout enemy base, you can do whatever you want, okay? So that's the scout. Pretty simple, as you know, 27 spells, there's gonna be everything, there's gonna be scout, there's gonna be, you know, nuke, there's gonna be silence, there's gonna be anything, basically. <laughs> anything that you can think of. So next spell is lightning shield, okay, that's interesting, right? So lightning shield. Only thing that it does is makes the eyelid lightning shield. By the way, that's that's the thing that is kind of funny about these versions. Like they have, you know, wouldn't be free balls enough in a campaign. There are only free balls because you have item called lightning shield and it gives you free balls around you. I think two or three, but no, we are in Dota, so it has to be six or nothing. It was like okay, it has to do like 400 or more damage, okay? And with the 400 damage, it has to do even something more, like gives you movement speed or something. So it's like kind of over the top spells right now, as you can see. So it's damaging, as you can see, on the melee range mostly. Because, you know, it's, it's a shield, it's lightning shield, so that's what it does. Gonna kill him, there we go. So next spell is Chaos Meteor, the well known. Defending Blast. <laughs> Hold on. I'm kind of confused because I have a lot of balls on me at the moment, but that's okay. Okay, there we go. Chaos Meteor. It's the same thing, you know, based on the, on the probably Exhort damage, even the distance. So, Chaos Meteor. Same thing. Pretty simple. The distance even seems pretty much the same, so that's state. Uh, even for the future versions. We have Confuse, which this spell, by the way, I'm... I'm <laughs> um, let me just get the spell. There we go. Confuse, okay. Create a dummy unit that looks like KL. Cast range of, two ta of 1000 and blah blah blah. It takes some damage. But what it actually does is nothing, okay. You're gonna create this and it's not doing anything. It's gonna create illusions, actually two illusions, look at that, on top of each other, okay? And they are gonna stand there forever. So if I cast it here, these guys are gonna attack it, but the illusion is not doing anything. 
you cannot move it, it cannot move, so <laughs> I don't really get this spell. Do you really think the enemy will be like, oh, there's an invoker, if I do this? Like, it's not moving, okay? Usually the players are moving, so I don't really get this spell. It's kind of weird. Maybe it's even glitched, I don't know. So let's go with the next spell that is maybe working. Um, maybe. It's a disarm. Hold on. Yep, it's a disarm. Our warriors have engaged the enemy. Strips the enemy of capability to attack and lasts 8 seconds. Let's see. They're attacking my illusions. So right now they're attacking me. And 8 seconds, he cannot attack. That's very decent. 8 seconds. That's basically team fight. You can like disable it with something, maybe defusal. But 8 seconds of uh, attack disable, like uh, disarm, yep, that, that's how it's called. Uh, this arm is really, really good. We are almost finishing, man. Almost finishing. I missed one spell. Yep, I missed one spell. Which is absolutely insane. I have to show you the spell. Okay, spawn on. Let me test help. If there's a command to spawn multiple creeps. Spawn creeps. There we go. Look at that. It's gonna be so funny. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So next spell, Shroud of Flames. That's probably the most amusing uh, spell for me at least, because what it does is absolutely insane. <laughs> Alright. Feel the power of my flames, bitches. So it's a passive flames. If somebody attacks you, it's gonna release the dragon breath, okay, from a DK. On each attack. How ridiculous this is. Ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. Alright. So that is it. That is the <laughs> Shroud of Flames. Uh, probably the most amusing spell for me. Like, what it does is really, really funny. Why is switching to the. N I don't even know what is happening here. Look at that. <laughs> That's ridiculous. More units, the better. The better flames. You are not doing anything and you are still killing everything. So, awesome spell. This probably the, is the best spell by me. Like, even the effect of, you know, the whole creep of attacking you and just dying because of that. It's kind of a funny. Okay, next spell is gonna be Soul Reaver. And we are finishing, we are finishing, guys. Soul Reaver. Neutrals. It couldn't spawn because there was a dead body there. So let's see... Okay, it's doing damage based on the quas and it temporarily increases my movement speed. So let's see... So right now he's under the effect, there's initial damage, plus he's like a burning. By the way, I have the movement speed as you can see, not fast as hell. And there's a 400 damage in the end based on probably on Exor. Yep. So there's, a, there's a initial damage based on the quas. And over, over time, there's a uh, like ending damage based on the exhort. Plus, the movement speed is there for the whole duration. So if I kill him, I still got the movement speed. Or the flying speed, because... Yep. <laughs> this is pretty much haste. Pretty much. Who needs Facebook if I don't have these spells, man? Nobody. Nobody. Okay, next spell, Firestorm. Let's see. It's gonna create purple, amazing something. It's gonna travel to the sky and then explode and kill everything. So what it does, summons an energy ball that explodes dealing 100 damage to units per level of wax. So right now 800 damage in 300 AoE. The AoE is tricky, um, it's not really big, but 800 damage, of course without reductions, it's still a lot. So it's gonna kill all the neutrals, like no neutral player can survive this other than the big ones. Of course I missed. <laughs> What happens. So this is the boom. Nice splash. That's by the way. That's that's the attack of the morphling splash. Um, that's the firestorm. Our next spell is incinerate. And this one is interesting. So let's section. You know what? Let's fly on top. Do I have any porting spell? I don't. I don't have any porting spell. I kind of want to. Mm, you know what, let's actually do this. Spawn creeps. Spawn, yep, creeps. 
spawn creeps. Yeah, spawn creeps. Spawn creeps. Alright, I'm gonna use my channel link. It's a channel link, and it's gonna be in the area, so let's see. How much can I do? How much damage can I do? Let's start. So this is it. Incinerate. It's a channel link. Over time, based on Exord, I think. What else? Pretty nice effect, but I don't think this spell is that effective. Like, you have to stay basically on a melee range uh, facing the enemy, so not that good. This is becoming kind of awkward, but that's fine. <laughs> my FPS should be fine with my new PC, so that's fine. Um, we have three spells left, so it's definitely fine. So, next one is a uh, Defending Blast. Pretty much known, even the icon is same, but what it does is something different. Of course, there's a damage, 520. And causing target to be mute for five seconds. Okay, mute meaning not being able to cast spells because they can attack me, and it's only only on the, only on one target, so it's not area effect. It's on a target, so see, he still can attack me, but he shouldn't be able to cast spells. So that's the defending blast of the old days. Just a mute one guy, huge damage again. That was like an escaping goat of of uh, creators of these heroes, like, okay, if we don't know what to do, let's do some damage. <laughs> Inferno is uh, almost last spell, so it's kind of interesting. Um, it actually creates something that the Pit Lord is creating, as you can see. Behind you, so behind your ass, uh, or on you basically, but you are running away so usually, so it's like behind you almost. Let's go to create these, like, uh, area effect explosions or inferno explosions let's see the damage that's I think it's pretty good ability because if when you are running it's still gonna be behind you so if, if somebody's hunting you like these guys they are gonna die it's pretty decent pretty decent okay last spell is a firebolt it's EEE -E -E, and that's what it does it's just a nuke uh, with the minor minus stun by the way that's important to say. It actually has a minus time. Look at that. Boom. So, cancelling channel links and things like that. So, that should be it. Um, my creeps are pushing the base, so it's fine. And let me just very quickly check one more time. I don't think I missed. Oh, well, I missed one thing. Betrayal, I think. Okay, I missed that. Alright. You can cast that thing only on a hero, so. Okay, I can't really you show you that. But it's a really stupid spell. Let me actually tell you what it does. Uh, betrayal, what it does is that you cast it on a hero. And he's becoming... Um, as an enemy, okay? His uh, position or... You will... Or his allies, okay? Not me. His allies will be seeing him as an enemy. Meaning they can attack him. Like me, okay? Enemies can attack me. They, they can attack even him. Plus the creeps will like an aggro on him, so even his allied creeps can will be attacking him, okay? And his allies can attack him. So he is gonna be attackable for the skirt side. But then again, you know, the creeps, okay, I got that. They can they will definitely aggro on him, but <laughs> why would heroes of his team, his allies, attack him if you know it's it is possible, but like usually they don't do that, right? They wanna win, so they won't kill the guy just because they can. I mean, there are people that do that. I mean, I would probably do that, but you know, like normal people don't, so that spell kind of weird. And that should be it. The best spell for me is this. It's just so fun to actually watch this. Just <laughs> doing the dragon breath. Yep. It's pretty funny. And it is area effect. It's still area effect. So, four guys attacking you. It's gonna make it's gonna do basically four attacks on all of them, okay? So or no, hold on. Sixteen attacks, right? Because one breath covers four. The second one covers four also, so yep, it's gonna be a lot of damage. That's definitely for sure. The invisibility is kind of insane. Sorry, I actually fucked up. That's not the invis. I mean the invis, whatever this is. So that is it. That's the whole old invoker. Um it's interesting, 
But you cannot really argue that it could be useful because this 12 seconds it's not enough I, I can do one spell recast for the second one because there's no second one spell or you can only have one active one so I can recast it and I have 12, sec 12 seconds cooldown so the fight is all over and I casted two spells as an invoker so it was kind of weird that they, they did that you know like they put so many spells into this guy and they made Invoke with the 12 seconds cooldown on uh, like only one level of that Maybe they thought like that's gonna be like variety like some people will go for the Tornado blast something some people will go for the invis like supportive much more. I don't know man So that is it. I don't think I missed anything um, If I did I'm sorry, but it's a lot of spells. It's just you know insane amount of combinations I can click on anything and basically it, it becomes active. So <laughs> there you go Levitation, and that is it. That is it. Uh, so next week, that's it for this week uh, about the Dota history. So next week there's gonna be two videos, and of course the most popular heroes. You can we can definitely say what heroes you wanna see, but uh, I'm gonna be doing the popular ones, and I want to do heroes that have some you know meaning in recent Dota. So you know somebody was uh, saying the, do the gambler. Um, I mean that hero is not even like hero. I, I don't know. Like he was there in the ver old versions, absolutely, in the, for a long time. But it's a weird hero. Okay, it kind of doesn't make any sense. But I can do it. Just like a fun video. All right, thanks for watching. And next hero for Doctor History is going to be the famous is that all? Ricky Maru, the stealth assassin.